Thunder E here guys and today we're taking a look at the Acer Predator XB1. This is the 32 inch 4K gaming monitor. Yes, it's a 4K gaming monitor, G-Sync 32 inches and uh, this thing is really, really nice. Now, you can get it either in 32 or 27 inches. Now, the 27 inch variant is about 899. This 32 inch is uh, 1200. And if you wanna pick it up, we have the Amazon links for you guys down below. So, what is interesting and cool about this monitor here? Now, as I mentioned, it's 4K, which means if you have a 4K capable PC, you can be gaming and playing games like Overwatch or whatever games your PC can run in 4K watch your 4k content it's got a four millisecond response time which means you can definitely do some really good gaming on this monitor so the package that came with it's pretty uh hefty box uh from acer i have to say it was pretty easy to actually open up and assemble i'm glad they actually made it an easier process granted it wasn't fully assembled for you but it's something where you can actually take out the monitor slide you know slide it out and set things up all together so uh in terms of this um, um setup process not too long i just sped up the video just because i took my time to actually do it properly um now um this is an ips monitor um so uh, your resolution is 3840 by 2160 of course which is uh usual standard 4k format here uh looks pretty nice um and you've got the traditional acer styling for the predator line the red feet on there adjustable mount uh, top and bottom you can see that right there very easy and you've got a few ports now on the left hand side if you're looking at the back you've got the power plug and power right there and as we slide towards the right hand side we do have one HDMI and one display port headphone jack uh, you want two USB uh, on the bottom and two on the side. I wish there were more uh, connected ports on there. But uh, again, um, that being said, this is a nice monitor. I, I've really enjoyed it. I've used it for a couple of months now, I will say. It's not I've, it's not a short while, I've used it for quite a while. Now, the, um, the menu system in changing the inputs and also uh, changing things like uh, you know your whether, whether it's the uh, display settings changing it to game mode which basically you know drops down some of the viewing settings and also gives you a ticker for your uh, your frame rate now this is not 144 Hertz but it in g-sync mode it will actually do um, a 75 Hertz altogether it's basically 60 Hertz uh, monitor um, but when you're gaming especially in 4k it looks absolutely beautiful it is a sight to behold it's smooth and it's fantastic again depends on your rig if you've got a capable rig then you should have no issues with this monitor whatsoever i've thoroughly enjoyed it um i think as a gamer um you know gaming in 4k is always great uh, it's been a while uh, since I've done it on a very good monitor, so I'm, I'm glad I actually had a chance to actually use this. Usually I would use my 4K TV to do that, and it's really not the best, you know, in terms of, you know, response time and refresh rate and things like that. But uh, with this, though, it really does a very good job in just handling um, just the uh, the overall performance in 4K. Again, as we move over to a game like Division here, which, uh, you know, can't, it's not really necessarily, say, graphically intensive uh, in that sense sense but you know it's a very expansive games a big open world game so there's a lot of things that are rendered and seeing all that in 4k is really really nice uh and this thing does a good job now pricing again is up there 1200 uh for this the 32 inch you can go for 27 inch um for slightly cheaper at 899 but i do like it i i think you know once you once you actually put your eyes and set and take a look at this monitor uh in perform just in performance you will go wow this thing really looks good it actually um it's really good i've had no issues with flickering or anything like that um in terms of performance i literally have to say i have zero issues with performance now the one thing i would change and i've stated with almost every other monitor even the ones i really like just like this one is i would love to see a simpler menu option where you can cycle through the menu process without actually having to go hit multiple buttons or things like that um, i like the option that hp does done with their monitors and i want to see that in every other monitor have a remote control um you know that would be nice now uh this also has speakers built into it uh two it's got 
two XR speakers. Nothing fantastic, nothing too crazy. So I, I barely use them just because I've got a better sound system. But it's there if you don't have or you're looking to pick up something else and you, in the meantime, you're trying to at least enjoy some audio. Um, but you can connect to headphones directly, which is what I do. Um, most of the time and depending on the kind of headphones you have of course that also plays into fact but uh, that's again the the one thing I would change is literally uh, the uh, the option display how to go into the settings and things like that uh, fantastic monitor great performance I can't complain I just wish things like this would drop down in price where it becomes more accessible for everyone but yeah if you want to pick up a 4k gaming monitor I will suggest the Acer XB1 either 32 inch or the 27 if you want to go smaller um, I do like it hopefully you'll have a widescreen option in the future because you know I love the widescreen displays uh, at least uh, 21 by 9 we'll see how that goes uh, but if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. If you're looking to pick up this monitor, please use our Amazon link down in the description. I absolutely love this monitor. I can't stress how good it's been. Um, I really have no complaints. So guys, uh, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, do subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.